first thing we do is we create two L shapes. So to do that, we've got number six, which is the base, and the first of the back uprights, which is number four. So we're putting those two together as the, as the back. So this is number one, so this is going across the top. So it's easier to put it on the floor first and then we're just tightening it up as we go. So we've now got an L shape and a top and in a moment we'll attach the base. Attaching five which is the long uh, bottom part of the, the unit and it goes right, fits right into the corner and up to the edge of there. This extra space here, this is where your buckets go in, your water buckets go in later on so we've left it off the ground for the frost. What we're doing now is we're attaching the angled part to the top and to the back. So what's important is your back goes flush with the end of the wood so that there is space underneath for the angled part. What I've got here is the back. This is flush with the back and then the angled piece which is the front is attached. So there's two screws from the, the, the top going in into this part to the back and there's two screws here going into the angled part. So we've turned it on its side so that we can get the angled um, part, the angled sides in just so that it touches the, the bottom and two screws will go into the bottom there to secure this part. So what we've done now is we've finished off the uh, bottom, the bottom section here. So it's got three base uh, planks. So we've put the base planks in screwed those in, two screws each side, and then we put the centre one in. This is for the bucket to sit on. So there's two screws there, two screws there. And the last thing we're going to do is put these angles in the corner. Um, they don't hold, it doesn't hold much weight, but it just looks nicer. And the same over here. For these uh, clips for the pipes, the marks have already been put on. So because the pipes have got edges on, we're just going to put the bottom one of each one in first so that it makes it easier to, uh, to adjust to put the pipe in. So uh, not This not is pipe tight. one. Pipe one always starts at the bottom. So what we're going to do is we're going to place it in the hole in the bucket and then attach that round, attach the pipe round and then we can tighten it at the top and the just bottom. attached number two into there make sure that it's nice and solid in and if you find that this clip here is over the hole just move the whole frame forward and backwards and so that everything's um, everything's clear because you don't want to lose any space for your pots on the last pipe at the top so number five going into number six don't have this very tight for a start there might be some readjustment just to make up the top and you put in the top what you will already have done before you put the top one in is this top bracket just to hold the pipe. So you slide the pipe into the bracket, attach it over here and make sure that it just touches the top corner there and then you'll see that it rises up which is absolutely fine, that's what it needs to be. Always check with the spirit level that we've provided um, at all points as to whether it's uh, just right. So how it looks just right is that it will just be touching the line on either side so whether it's coming down that way to the left to the right or the right to the left it will always just be touching the line and then you know it's perfectly aligned the important thing is we don't want the water gushing through the water will find its own level and so therefore not to have it we too do steep. Put on the, the rubber end it goes into there and it just squashes in so if I was tall enough, I could get into there. there we are. Could you just assist me with this one? Just because I can't reach. You can't put that rubber bung in until right at the end for the sheer fact that the, this pipe has to go through um, this clip here first. And then that's in, all in place. And that's ready for the water hose to go from here all the way down from the bucket. And finally, we get to the pump. So we the, the, uh, the attachment goes into there, screws in, nice and tight, jubilee clip and the hose, the hose goes into there, push it nicely down and then what you're going to do is just tighten up the jubilee clip and 
then that will go into the water box. There are suction things in the bottom so it'll stay in there. My advice is to put it um, to the top um, right in the box so it stays away from this flowing water. And then that, once it's in the box, will attach and slide into the side of there. Push it in a good way so that it doesn't come back out. Okay, so we need to put the pump in the top corner. But remember, before you put the lid on, you need to put the hole, the plug through the hole first. Um, not do the same mistake as me. And then the hose through the same hole so that everything comes out very neat. On. And then that goes into that good way. And you've got your lead which then goes into the plug socket. So remember before you put the water in to get that lead through there first. And so finally here we have the hydroponic set. So this is Hydra Veg, this is HV1. So excited to show you what it looks like just to give it a little bit of a test with some water. So when you test with the water, put the water at least halfway through the bucket and uh, switch it on. Make sure everything's working okay and then you can just always keep this a bit loose so that you can take the lid off, check it out. But what we did is we tested the water first without the lid on so we can see the water pouring out. Um, then put it back on and tighten this up a little bit. You may need to take the lid off here regularly so I don't have it too loose on there. It only needs to hold off. Okay, so there we are. Completed article. All we're waiting for now are the plants. So each of the, uh, the pots slide in and when you're planting the plant, you put the plant in the pot and then once it's in there, you put the stones around to around about one up from the top. Um, that just holds the plant in place. What might be a good idea for your plants, because they, there's a slight gap between the, uh, the pot and the bottom to allow the water to run, it could well be for a couple of days it might be advisable to just pop your plant in the mineral water in a bucket first for a couple of days just to get the plant roots to start coming out the side so when you pop it in the plants can find the water quite easily they're not uh, they're not dying of starvation right at the start okay thank you